What is up YouTube? It is Ricky and we are back on Destiny and today I wanted to share with you guys what is, in my opinion, the best warlock exotic in the game of Destiny. Now this thing is a beast, it's a monster, it's pretty much all I use. Uh, very seldom do I switch out my exotic slot for this and uh, that piece of exotic armor is the ram my friends the ram is that's my Cadillac of exotics right there I mean I find myself wearing it as Voidwalker as Sunsinger as pretty much anything under the Sun you can name it uh, crucible I find it amazing you can live a golden gun you can live a shoulder charge uh, it's it makes the warlock insanely tanky like so so tanky um, and honestly I don't think there's I don't think there's very many options that would really be worth it a lot of the warlock exotics are very circumstantial uh, maybe they only help with your grenades or maybe they only help with uh, when you cast your super or maybe they're for melees <laughs> uh, who knows but let me know what you guys like to run on your warlock because currently I'm loving the shit out of this ram so happy I got it and I do have all the exotics the only thing I'm missing is purifier robes but then again uh, that's something that only helps when you pop your super and it's very circumstantial but let's take a look at the other exotics uh, that we can use for the warlock and see why the ram is just all around awesome <laughs> all right we're here we have the ram uh, its perk is signature perk is increased armor and every melee triggers lifesteal for voidwalker uh, the apotheosis veil uh, I see a lot of people using this and activating your super regenerates health but with the ram if you're running voidwalker you can melee to get health back. The Obsidian Mind is virtually only good in PvE. Uh, it's not very useful in PvP and that's only if there's a bunch of clumped up groups of low level enemies that are all gonna die. Our Keeper of the Pack Exotic Light Beyond Nemesis. This is a, uh, an alternative you can run if you're running uh, Trials or Elimination or something like that. And Skull of Dire Ahamkara. Clearly I don't find useful. Um, yeah, you, you get tougher. Claws of Ahamkara, however, uh, you get two melees, which is actually pretty dope. Uh, but then again, that's that only helps your melees. That the ram, you get increased armor 24/7 when you have it on. You get to reap that benefit every single time you have it on. We have Sunbreakers, which are gross. Uh, they increase the duration of your solar grenade, uh, only helping out the grenade. Uh, special weapon loader is cool, but grenades, no. Nothing manacles. Something that helps out the grenade, but uh, is really fucking amazing. These are a strong, strong runner-up for one of my favorites. I love them. And speaking of runner-ups, Void Fang Vestments, I love these in PvP, especially on Trials of Osiris. You could just get grenades for days, and it's beautiful. Heart of Praxic Fire, uh, kind of useless. You only get one extra grenade out of it during Radiance, so not worth using in my opinion. And Starfire Protocol, you get an extra fusion grenade. Um, that's kind of cool for PvE. Uh, those grenades are really strong in PvE. Not really something you'd want to run in PvP, however. And of course, I am missing the purifier robes, but the signature thing on those is they blind enemies around you when you self-res, uh, which is good in PvP, but I find myself... Uh, <laughs> praise me! I find myself using the RAM a lot more because... It's the things just there 24 7. I mean, maybe I'm hypnotized by it, mesmerized, and I don't know, but it is phenomenal. I love it. Once again, let me know what you guys are running in the comments section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Shake and bake, and I will see you dudes later. Peace.